have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Hello, I'm back with longer and darker hair. Um, it is also fully one in the morning when I am filming this, but hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I do this funny thing where I will be on like a posting streak and I'll post a lot of videos in like a smaller time frame and then I'll just ghost you guys for like a couple months. Then I'll come back with like a recap of what I've been up to and what's been going on in my life. This has just been a common theme throughout, throughout, throughout. <laughs> throughout the, like, the three years that I've had this YouTube channel, which is kind of crazy that it's been three years, but hey, here we are. But yeah, no, it's been a common theme for me to like come back every few months with some wild updates about my life. And that's exactly what this video is gonna be. And you know what? I feel like it is quite fitting that I'm filming this at 1 a.m because that's when all the feely feels come out, you know? I feel like at 1 a.m., that's where like the raw feelings plus like slight delusion that's like powered by being exhausted mix together and then just form like a really dangerous but fun combo. So yeah, I'm excited to just open up to you guys and be honest and be real about what's going on with me. So let's just like get into this video. Just in general, this semester has been like such an intense euphoric roller coaster. That's the best way to describe it. Definitely in terms of academics, like <laughs> she was difficult. I was definitely down bad academically. It was hard, but I pushed through. And I feel like that's just always like the main underlying theme for why I take such long hiatuses. <laughs> And then I come back when I'm not in school, but look we pushed through and we made it on the other side So woo 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 studio at 11 30. this is grace grace say hello hey okay no, you're yes. mm. sorry <laughs> <laughs> that was so aggressive <laughs> rubbing it again i'm sorry however on one end while things were quite overwhelming academically um something i'm really proud of for doing this semester was i definitely still tried to make it a priority to spend time with people i care about and continue to foster important relationships in my life I definitely did make it a priority to enjoy those like smaller precious moments with important people in my life throughout this semester and it just it's something that makes me happy and i wanted to share some highlights from those experiences with y'all so let's roll those clips hey vloggy vlog um it's tiara oh my gosh look at these earrings so cute so i have a little galentine's day part of you that i'm hosting here's here's the setup i don't know how laura does this like does she i don't know like keep keep transition I'm 
montage. Um, so I am banned from doing anything besides sitting down. They're all in the kitchen. I'm actually watching RuPaul's Drag Show. I can't be in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys. Okay, so this is my outfit. Did you guys hear that? Okay, um, so my friend Chelsea got me these earrings and she got them when she was in Texas. I got this necklace, the blue one. It's from a store when I went to Venice. And then this one, it's from Sweet Peep Jewelry. I don't know, I found them on Instagram, so cute. This, I believe, is either from Francesca or Free People. Um, and then I'm just wearing a basic skirt. Ta-ta. And then my really old slippers. And then I added, can't really tell. Can you see? I just have a bow tie over here that matches, like, the same color as my top. But that is it. I'm currently watching... Harry Styles Grammy's performance because I am bored. And Miss Lara doesn't is banning me from the kitchen. Her. I love this hairstyle on Thank you. Thank you. I was trying to do like a little YGK kind of. Oh, is it braided? Moment. No, they're like little twisties. Actually, I got the inspiration from Jasmine Lee on YouTube. Boom. Her her tag will be over here. Tiara's birthday surprise number one.
in a cart. Oh. <laughs> Tiara, okay. do you want to say something for the April vlog? Um, I'm so tired, y'all. Fair enough. We are in Restaurant Depot. Is that what it is? Restaurant Depot. Divi, do you want to say something for my vlog? Oh, wait. There he is. I'm part of a company now. Are we going to go in the refrigerator section? Yes. Oh my gosh. Wait, Lily, do you have any thoughts for the vlog? Um, we're about to fucking freeze our asses off. We are in the freezer section of Restaurant Depot. This is the outfit I wear in the fridge slash freezer section. Also, every time I take a video, it looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. Hello, vlog vlog. It is Eid. Eid Mubarak. For this lovely Eid, Amaya and I decided we were going to treat ourselves with Starbucks early in the morning. And so I'm bringing back the taste tests for the vlogs. So for this April vlog, we got the ground cinnamon caramel nitro cold brew. So yes, Amaya, do you have any thoughts? No, I'm just so happy to drink coffee now. Yes, so cheers. Cheers. Oh. I'm like, I like it. I like the coffee taste. See, I'm not the biggest fan of the coffee taste. It's maybe, it's not, mine is like not mixed up well at all either. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a mixed. Oh, you got some on your nose. I know. Yeah, it's mixed. Is it good? Is it better mixed? Yeah. Okay. Delicious. I'll mix mine later and then try it. But yes, this is our Eve activity number one. Now we both have class, so we're gonna go to class, and then after class, we're gonna get ready. Hello, vloggy vlog. Eve update. Um, so we went to a like Dawa, their like family function for lunch, and now Amaya and I are in one of my favorite sushi restaurants, in my hometown. But we're literally not here for food. We are here to order their specialty mocktails. Because I mentioned this, I think in my January vlog, that um, I came here with another friend and she ordered like a purple rain like cocktail and it was really good. I ordered a blueberry mojito mocktail and it was really good. And the weather outside right now is just quite honestly very beautiful. And Amaya and I are in some special in a special mood today. So we're gonna have some girl time, talk, and have a mocktail. I just say, look at how beautiful she looks. Hello. Okay, Maya, do you want to give details about your look? My whole fit is pretty much from Lara's mom. Thank you so much <laughs> from Bangladesh. My hijab is from Savers. That's Slay. Love. Slay. Um, rings. Thrifted. <laughs> Slay. Um, yeah, that's, that's literally it. Look at her. She's so gorgeous. Our drinks came. This is. This is Amaya's drink. It's a blueberry mojito. And then this is my drink. I got the pineapple cobbler. So both of these are mocktails. And this one's like pineapple strawberry. This one's like blueberry lemonade kind of. But yes. Wait, they're hearts. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, I love that. Stop, that's so precious. I love that. That's so good. That's yeah, so good. right? That's so good. Cheers. 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 That's really good. That's really, really good. <laughs> That's amazing. While I did experience so many like special moments sprinkled throughout this semester. I will say this semester I experienced like quite a big life change and I'll definitely talk about it more in depth in like later videos but like simply this video is not the time to get into specifics if I'm gonna be honest but there was definitely a period in time this semester that was really difficult for me because I was trying to balance school and an intense academic life with also just like emotional turmoil that came with 
making the decision to make this big change in my life and I'm not gonna lie your girl went through it a little bit mentally but she came out of the other side I think the choice that I had to make it was a very heavy weighted choice and it definitely took its toll on me mentally I feel like it felt scary it felt like a very scary decision that I had to come to terms with because I was so convinced that I wanted my life to go in one direction but over time it really felt like I was trying to force something to happen for myself that really wasn't meant to be and the more I felt like I was forcing this to happen the more I could feel that I wasn't growing to my own potential and I know I sound very vague with what I'm saying but at the end of the day, before I made this big life change, I just felt like I wasn't growing and I just felt so stagnant and quite honestly like not completely satisfied with myself and with certain compromises for my future self. And I'm not gonna lie, it was like a really scary decision to come to, to realize that like a certain track you pick for your life is supposed to go one way and to understand and come to terms with the fact that like that's not what you actually want and there are certain things in life that you want to experience that are different from this idea for the future that you had so set in stone in your mind and i know i'm rambling but also it's 1 a.m so i feel like it's okay for me to be rambling but like at the end of the day i'm really proud of myself for making this decision for being smart about it and like fully thinking about the consequences and quite honestly for just prioritizing myself and living for myself i just i feel like a brand new person and like honestly the period of time after i made said decision has felt like and i know i said this earlier in the video but it's felt like a euphoric roller coaster because i've felt such intense highs of highs and such intense excitement with experiencing new things and experiencing college in with a different perspective but also the lows have been intense because they've been feelings and experiences that I haven't experienced in a really long time but I'm here for this euphoric roller coaster and I'm just so excited to start this new chapter of my life but in the immediate weeks that followed me making this big decision and life change or whatever i really prioritized living for myself and i don't know they're just a certain like memories from after i made this decision that are just like new core memories for me that i'll like always remember from my college experience and they're just really special to me i feel blessed and happy about those experiences and i think the emotional state that i was in just made them that much more special and intense and they're just special moments for me <laughs> hey vlog um, today was a really big day, really emotional day for Lara. She is kind of going through it right now, but at least we look hot. And funny story, me and Tiara, no, but basically me and Tiara, we have our frat formal right now. And Tiara here is the director of planning for our frat. Long story short, she helps plan all of the social stuff. So the um, reservation, for like the venue is under her card and she left her her wallet in my oh, apartment. No, I just need so I could get in so like they know I'm 21. So now we're walking we're walking back and we're grabbing her wallet. But respectfully, it's like pouring down rain right now, so I'm going to do a refresh. Um I also did impulsively dye my hair black today and I feel kind of like a rocker chick. I feel I feel interesting. I don't know how my makeup is gonna look by the end of the night tonight, but you know what? That's a problem for another day. So, cheers. Wait, okay, now. 
Hi vlog. <laughs> Um, so we were in studio for like the past four hours and now we're walking out of studio. Yes. PR, do you have vlog? I am ready to take a fat nap. Ready! I'm ready to do a bunch of chores because my apartment's a mess and I need to clean it yes. up. So. I'm so excited. Yes. yes. Shantae, you, you slay. slay. <laughs> Last night was a fever dream. Last night was a movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was a movie, guys. It was literally a movie. Laura and I, we were this close. We were this close. This close. No, it felt like a movie. <laughs> okay, so the aftermath of Maryland Day. Slay. 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 said you guys are in for a treat because y'all will be seeing so many more adventures so soon this semester has definitely had its intense ups and also its intense downs but like honestly beyond that i'm like truly so grateful for everything this past semester had in store for me and i'm so grateful for the experiences i've had and the people i've met and I'm honestly nothing but excited for the future. Again, I just, I feel like I'm starting a new chapter of my life and I'm starting this chapter completely on my own terms, which it's definitely nerve wracking, but I'm so excited for it. I'm, I'm just excited for the future. So honestly, I just wanna say cheers to an old chapter, an old era of my life ending. She's been a lovely one, but here's to a new season, a new era, a new chapter, whatever we may call it. I don't know, get excited, and I will see you guys in the next video. See y'all very soon, bye.